right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Both fighters are 28. Some differences in height and reach as well. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Welterweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 8 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Yuma, Arizona, USA. Introducing the challenger, Kelvin Gastelum. Now, introducing the champion, fighting <laughs> This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 17 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC welterweight champion of the world, Shawn All right, this is for the championship. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, man. We are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. Here we are inside the home of the New York Knicks. It is Madison Square Garden. And I think a lot of people remember when Conor McGregor and Eddie Alvarez ushered in this building as far as the UFC is concerned back in 2016. I mean, that place was insane. And Conor McGregor became the UFC's double champion. From outside the arena, we build up to the fight, to end the arena when Conor became the king. This was a great moment in the world's greatest arena. Look, the best fights in history have happened here. And on that night, Conor McGregor etched his name in stone. Big ball from punch land. Now he gets back in range. Nice counter shot there. Michael's the only takedown. He gets it. So no surprise he wanted to. 
to get this fight to the ground, and that is certainly a good sign for him moving forward in this fight. He felt as if he had a massive advantage in the grappling and the wrestling. He was able to secure that takedown very early in the first round. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Gaston. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, nice job here, staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. All right, he's got side control over oh, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way as referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Gaston. Lands the ground and pound strike. Win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Gaston. Just over two minutes, round one. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Jags him with the punch. Both fighters back to their feet now. So we call on the numbers here. These are unofficial, but 42 total strikes have landed for Kelvin Gaston. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Oh, nice punch there by Gaston. Gets the elbow up into the target. Got clipped with the right hand. Oh, that is. Oh, huge overhand there. Oh, and he finally gets the takedown now. So what do they say? It, try, try again. If, if at first you don't succeed, you try, try again. And this guy is the poster boy for that saying, because he shot many takedown attempts, and he finally has secured one. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. All right, north-south position. I mean, he's walking the arm over. Oh, he's attacking choke now. It looks like he's trying to attack a windshield choke. This should see more in grappling competitions where they have the key in order to apply the right type of pressure to get the finish. Oh, how about that? He got him with the windshield choke. I mean, he got it in an actual MMA fight. That's not common to see this type of choke view without a D where you can grab the lapel and everything right. to get the choke off. That is an impressive submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. And there he is, the UFC welterweight champion of the world. What a moment for him here tonight as he earns the victory by submission.